I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this little Halloween box that I made for my son for Halloween. Here's what you need to gather together to make this box. You're going to need your Big Shot. You're going to need one extended cutting plate, your extended crease pad, and then I have a couple of shims that I used. One is the one that comes with the extended um, cutting pads, and then I have, I think I saved a piece of cardstock that came with one of my um, extended dies. You're going to need box number two, that long die. You're going to need your paper piercing tool and your pad. I've got my paper snips just in case, and I'll explain why for that in a minute. I use the neutrals brads. I have some sticky strip. For cardstock, I used basic gray, old olive, and basic black. And then I have a product out of the holiday mini catalog. I use the Spooky Nights rub-ons, which are on page eight. And here's kind of what they look like. I've been playing with them all day and so I have just bits and pieces left, but this is a really fun pack of rub-ons for Halloween. And I have my bone folder, and I used the wide oval punch. All right, I'm gonna clear off my spot. I'll be back to show you how to make the box. All right, I'm back. Here's the sandwich you need for your Big Shot. You need your bottom extended cutting plate, your shims if you need a shim, and the first time that you make this box, you'll know whether or not you need a shim, and I'll explain why in a minute. Then you use your die, and then on top of that, you're gonna put your cardstock. I'm gonna line it up so that everything is covered. And then on top of that, you're gonna have your extended cutting pad, and then you're going to run it through your Big Shot have to bring it a bit closer to me. Now, when you run this through your die, or I'm sorry, when you run the die through your Big Shot, if it doesn't cut all the way through like it should, that means that you need to add a shim. Ah, it worked better this time. The first time I did it uh, to make the demonstration box, I had to use my paper snips to, to cut a few lines that didn't cut all the way through. All right, so this is what you end up with. Then what you want to do is you want to bring in your Spooky Night rub-ons and you want to apply your rub-ons before I applied a rub-on here, a rub-on here, and then I did it here. So you want to sort of do all the decorations on the outside of your box before you put your box together. Then once you have all your rub-ons on your box, then you put your box together. And it goes together with only one piece of sticky strip. So this is the bottom of your box right here. And how it works is you fold this in, this in, and then bring it in so you can see it better. This goes in like that. Then it goes like that. Whoops. Just a minute. <laughs> there we go. And it goes together like that. So the only thing you need to do is put one piece of sticky strip on that tiny tab and your entire box will stay together. So let me bring this back in. I used one of the spooky rub-on pieces and applied it to the old olive, then punched it out with the wide oval punch, did a background layer of the basic black and two of the basic gray brads from the Neutrals Brad Pack. I did the October 31st, October 31st rub-ons on the sides of the box. On the front of the box, I did the skull rub-on on a piece of old olive, layered it on top of basic black, and then used two of the Whisper White brads to hold it onto the box. Then for the top of the box I did the Fright Night rub-on and two of the basic gray brads to hold it on like that. 
and that's it. Really, this was a lot of fun to make, and I know my son is going to be so surprised when he finds a special Halloween treat inside this box. For a complete list of the ingredients that I used to make this box, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you're welcome to subscribe to my free exclusive customer newsletters. You'll get three a month until December's over because I have a special feature called the 12 Weeks of Christmas. That's an extra email newsletter that comes out each week with a special holiday project idea. You can also place an order with me or just ask me a general question. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Happy Halloween and bye for now.